So today I'm here to do something really exciting, at least to me, and it's a first impressions of a brand new makeup palette. Uh, very quick little warning if you hear any kerfuffling in the background, um, my attic studio still has not been sorted out, so I have actually found a way that I can do makeup videos, but I am in my living room and Jake is doing some work in the kitchen, so if there's any kerfuffling that's why, we just, we gotta make do with what we've got here. So I'm just kind of camped out in the middle of the living room right now. I got something through from Strobe Cosmetics, which I'm very excited about, you can see there's a little sticker here, there it is! And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this palette, it looks really cute, which is appropriate for when you see what it is. So first of all, when you open up the box, you're greeted with this, which I am just all about. For one, you've got the love, I, I, I love black and white stripes. I am all about that look. And then you've got a little creepy cutie thing up here and a nice little sticker. So, oh gosh. So I have sort of like unwrapped this and had a little look. I always like to sort of check things like this first before I do a video in case it did get smashed in the mail and then I'm like, ta-da, oh, you know? So uh, I did open this up to have a peek and it's good, so. Ooh. Oh, so there's a little card in here and it says Kaya, wow, she's finally here. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts on the creepy cute palette as well as see some amazing creep or see what amazing creepy cute looks you create. So in case you haven't guessed, this is called the creepy cute palette. And we have a nice little information thing here. So it tells you, you know, sort of about it. Um, they've been working on it for two years. It's the first ever all matte eyeshadow palette, which I'm excited about because I really do love matte eyeshadows and I feel like a lot of companies mostly do shimmery, so this is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there's just some information here. So they've been working on the matte eyeshadow formula for over three years, so that's probably why, from what I've seen, they look amazing. Oh, it's also nice. So it's just a little bit about their story and like, you know, the creation of the palette and stuff. So. Let me just unwrap all the packaging. So this is it in its little box. How cute is this? That packaging is adorable. It definitely fits the sort of creepy cute theme. I'm all about it. And on the back we have some little things that show the colors. And the colors are Tombstone, Planchette, Creep It Real, Cold Shoulder, Strawberry Milk, Take a Hint, Void, and Third Eye. I feel like this is gonna be a noisy video. I am sorry guys, but there's only so much I can do. <laughs> Okay, so here it is out of the box. It's just, you know, the same sort of design. Are you ready to have a peek? Oh, ta-da! So I had a very sneaky little test, just barely a test, because I just had to know, and like, these are pigmented. Like, if the one that I kind of just had a little go with is anything to go by, oh my god. Like, even my boyfriend was there like, whoa. So let me show you what I did. So, so what I'm gonna do is like, you know, usually whenever you swatch, you kind of like rub your finger through it and then rub on your hand. I'm not even gonna rub. I am just going to lightly touch. I'm just going to tap the eyeshadow. So, so I'm just going to go over here. And like, I just sort of touched. You can see already on my finger. So that is just from like, giving it a teeny tiny little tap. I'm like, that's a pastel color as well. And it's coming out, you know, pigmented. So I will give one of them a proper swatch now. Let me see. I think we'll go with cold shoulder up here, this blue. So I'll just kind of run my finger through. Oof. And then it's, it's very hard. I'm like nowhere near the camera right now. It is actually quite far away from me, so I can't reach you. But oh, yes. And let's try the black. Let's see what this black is like. So I'm just going to very lightly run my finger through that. Ooh through this. It is definitely dark. <gasps> okay! This palette is not playing. <laughs> these are some extremely pigmented eyeshadows and even once I've like rubbed these off completely on my hand they are still very much there. So I am just going to quickly swatch all these on my wrist. Like I'm just gonna sit here and do them. You'll have, I'll do exactly what I did for the rest of them. No like fancy anything. I'll just whoop whoop. Uh, it's just to save me you know <laughs> trying to get the camera to focus. So, I'll just do them all and then show you them all in one go. So we'll do Tombstone. So these are the top four colors. So that is Tombstone, Stone, Planchette, Creep It Real, and Cold Shoulder. And uh, yeah, Creep It Real, I think, is probably the most pigmented out of those four. It is crazy. And now let me do the bottom four. Oh dear. <laughs> I forgot I had a tattoo. I was like, oh, let me just do the bottom four. I will do those on the back of my hand just for the sake of, you know. <laughs> so that is the bottom row of colors. So we've got Strawberry Milk, Take a hint, void, and third eye. So yeah, right off the bat, as again, again, this is a first impressions video. And my first impressions is that I am very impressed. The packaging is adorable. The formula seems great. 
all of the eyeshadows are very, very good. There are definitely some that are a little more pigmented th than others, but you know, that happens with um, eyeshadows depending on what's in them. But all of them do hold a really good, strong pigment. Like, there's none... You get some eyeshadow palettes where, like, one color is amazing and another one you can barely use. All of these are definitely good. There just are some that are, like, extra pigmented. Uh, but yeah, I am definitely really happy with everything in this. I think the colors are really, really lovely. They kind of got everything you would need for a creepy cute look, I would say. Um, as like a personal thing, it's not even like like a negative because it's just my personal preference. I wish Strawberry Milk was like slightly on the cooler pink side because it's like a warmer pink. I like cooler pinks, but it is still a really gorgeous color. And it's actually nicer in person than it is online. Online, I thought it was going to be actually warmer than it is so I was like oh man you know I wish that wasn't so warm but it actually isn't so much in real life so I'm still pretty happy with that and uh yeah overall I am happy so I'm going to do my makeup now using this palette and I'll see how I get on I think I will go in with tombstone first of all I'm kind of scared <laughs> uh and I'm just gonna sort of go around my brow bone eye socket area with that I've just picked up the tiniest amount because I have no idea, like, you know, how strong this is going to be going in. The only thing that I think this palette could do with that doesn't have would be a white. That is, like, the one thing I would say that is missing is, like, a really lovely matte white, but it's not super necessary. Again, I think that's just personal preference. I'm just gonna take a white eyeshadow and kind of blend this out around the edges. Uh, it's worth mentioning I'm not using any eyeshadow primer while doing this. Um, I'm just using the eyeshadow straight up to see how they do on their own. And it's also worth mentioning I am not a professional by any standards, guys. I am not a makeup artist. Um, you know, I've <laughs> the, I'm going off like whether or not I like these on a personal level so for me so far I am really really enjoying this formula so that is tombstone now I'm gonna take strawberry milk and put it over my lid I have no idea what I'm going for for this look I am just kind of slapping some colors on here to try them on really And then I'm going to take a little sort of fluffy-ish angled brush and use Void just around the edges here to darken it down. Because it's one, I don't, this is all gonna clash, I'm sure, but, but because it's one of the colors that's impressed me the most, I'm actually gonna take some Creep It Real and put that along the bottom of my eyes, getting a little bit of fallout from this one. Okay, so I think that is what I'm gonna do mostly for the eyeshadow for now. So I'm just gonna go pop on my eyeliner and all the rest of the bits and bobs and I'll be right back with you. And that is me done. So this isn't a super impressive look or anything. It is quite simple. Um, but I thought for the sake of a first impressions video I would do something simple that I knew I could do that wasn't too complicated. Um, you know, just to try it out and see how it went. And it went okay. Definitely most of all I am impressed with this. The only like slight sort of negative I would say because you know we are looking at this to see you know the pros and the cons is I had a little bit of trouble with blending some of the colors out especially like the black but I have to say it wasn't so much trouble that I think that I won't be able to sort of get better with it because I've had that experience with a lot of palettes like whenever I get like a new eyeshadow formula a lot of the time at first I will kind of struggle to work with it until I get used to it and kind of learn how to use it so I do think that you know with a bit of practice especially off camera because I definitely find it a lot harder to do my makeup while recording uh, because you don't have to worry about angles and also I'm very aware that my camera is like filling up and running out of battery so I'm trying to rush it and stuff whereas off camera I can like take my sweet ass time and do what I want um 
so yeah, I had a little bit of trouble blending out. I found it a little bit difficult, especially with the black, but I do have faith that that will get easier. I'll definitely um, pop back in on this channel at some point whenever I've used this a bit more and perhaps do like another makeup tutorial with it because I would really love to sort of do something with maybe like Tombstone, Take a Hint and Voids. So that's the gray one, the really bright like slime green and the black. I'd love to play around with that. So once I've used this a few times, I might come back and do like a tutorial with it and you know, sort of update you on how I'm getting on with the colors. Um, and then the only other like mild negative is I had a little bit of fallout with, uh, mostly Creep It Real I got fallout with, but it wasn't too bad and I like, cleaned up very easily. Like there's some eyeshadows you get and if you get any fallout at all, that's like game over, makeup ruined. Uh, this, I got a little bit of fallout underneath. I just kind of like, you know, <laughs> blew it, sw swept it with a brush and it was gone. I don't have any green smudges across my face. Again, some eyeshadows I've used, like, even one little speck of eyeshadow falls and the second you try to get rid of it, your half your face is just smudged with makeup. Um, so that wasn't too much of an issue at all. And as I say, they're definitely pigmented. This is without any sort of eyeshadow primer. Obviously, if you use an eyeshadow primer, then you could get to really, like, pop and stand out. Because the pink is a little bit pale on my eyelids here, but obviously, of course, it is a pale pink colour and I am a pale pink person. <laughs> so, um, but I do think with an eyeshadow primer, that would definitely pop a lot more. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna play around with this, come up with some other colors. Like I, you know, can maybe do something like Halloweeny with the black and the orange here, so that's void and third eye. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like looking at this and like imagining what looks I wanna do with it in the future. Um, so again, I am not a professional, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm trying to think of as many things as possible to mention about this palette that you could possibly want to know. But again, I am not a professional and I'm not too fussy. So if I've missed anything, I am sorry. As I say, the texture of everything is really nice. The only one that I don't love the texture of as much is the black one. It's like more, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, squeaky? Uh, but overall, it's still, it's very good. And it is black, so I care about that more. I love how dark it is, so that is much less of an issue. Um, but yeah, these are like very like nice and velvety feeling and overall, I am impressed. So this palette was sent to me by Strobe Cosmetics uh, to show you guys, so thank you to them for sending this to me. Uh, this video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid, they just sent this to me so I could try it out, which is very, very sweet. This palette costs uh, $35, which I have to say, you know, compared to a lot of palettes that are out at the minute, I think is a decent price, especially for something that's been so long in the works, and like I said, it is really, really pigmented. The eyeshadow pans are a decent size. You know, you've got like quite a lot there. I hate eyeshadow pans that have like tiny little slits. Um, but this is, but this is, uh, you do get like a decent amount in here. So I think $35 for this is well worth it. And yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this. So that was the Creepy Cute Palette from Strobe Cosmetics. I hope you liked this first impressions video. Um, as I say, I'm sorry if I left anything out. I tried to think of everything I could. So that was everything. Be sure to check the description box below because if there's anything important that I forgot to leave out, it will be there along with a link to this and anything else useful you could ever need. We've got a new thing to start plugging at the end of these streams. Go and follow my Twitch channel. I've started streaming. Not only do I stream with my boyfriend on our gaming Twitch channel, which by the way, even if you don't like games, you can still enjoy because it's kind of just like a podcast where you can come and talk directly to us in real time, so it's fun. But now I also have my own version and uh, over there I don't play games. I mostly just sit and talk to you guys. We listen to fun music and uh, little things like that. So come follow my Twitch and hang out because it is so much fun. That will be on screen and in the description below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite color is in this. And finally, consider checking out my Patreon because that supports this channel so, so much. I would not be here if it weren't for my lovely Patreon supporters. And of course, if you do join Patreon, you can join our Discord chat. So that's everything. I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I've probably already said that. And uh, have a lovely day. Bye.